guys, this is Stephanie and I am Stacks on Stacks on Stacks. Okay guys, so today we are talking about Ready Player One, the book versus the movie, and I have my specialist of special guests. My husband, Mark. Hi. We both have read the book and we both saw the movie, so I thought it would be good to have another point of view in as well to talk about things in the book that we liked or didn't like, things in the movie we liked or didn't like, and comparing the two. First thing we're going to talk about is the general plot of the book, and then we're going to talk about spoilers from then on. This is actually a really great cover. I don't think they make it anymore. I got it from Book Outlet, so... I like that one. I know, right? Mm -hmm. I like it better than all the other ones I've seen of him climbing up the stacks. I'm like, boo. Oh, I like that one fine, though. I don't like Still, that one. Yeah, Ugly. Okay. Anyway, so this is a book where we follow a kid named Wade. Wade is an 18-year-old senior in high school, yeah. a futuristic, post-apocalyptic Oklahoma City. It's barely post-apocalyptic, even. Yeah, it's just kind of a sad... Yeah, yeah. It's Dr just jury a sad future. future. It's yeah. future. So, like, like sad, like, people who don't have money are, like, living in a trailer. Instead of trailer courts, they have things called stacks where they literally stack the trailers on top of each other. And they, I don't know if they tell us. They tell us, nope. Stacks on stacks on stacks of trailers. I, I saw that coming. Side note, in this future, there is something that was created that is called the Oasis. Now, the Oasis was created by a man named James Halliday. And basically, it is a virtual universe, not even a virtual world. It's many, many, many virtual worlds. Thousands. Thousands of yeah. them. And you can, like, put on the visor and the gloves and you can go to school or you can go to work or mm -hmm. you could go to, like, a Minecraft planet or a World of Warcraft planet or... Whatever you can think of, there's probably a planet just for that. A Ken and Barbie planet based on Mark and I because we are the most beautiful two people on the face of the world. One, on no, the the two, no. Seriously. So you have an avatar in there and when you're young, your avatar has to look somewhat like yourself. And at the beginning of the book, James Halliday dies and he decides to leave his whole fortune, which is like trillions of dollars, to whoever can find this Easter egg in his universe. And for him, it's a game. And he's excited because he loves games. Like, he has all these like 70s, 80s, and 90s references throughout his Oasis world as well, which of course people our age appreciate and love because that's when we grew up. And that just makes it all the more fun. We also find out at the beginning of the book that Wade found the first key and there are three keys to get the Easter egg. It's the adventure that he goes on and it's an incredibly fun ride. Like I loved this book. I gave it five stars. I read it maybe two years, year and a half ago, something like that. And I thought it was great. I thought it was fun. I thought it was clever. It was a great ride. It had all these great references. And yeah, what did you think of it? If if I had to give it stars, because I don't and I'm more critical than her. He is. If I had to round off to the nearest star, I would have given it five stars. Oh, really? I was yeah. You point something. I I, it, it'd time. probably be like a 4.6 or something like that. But it was Roughly. solid, good book. And yeah, I read That's it, like one of the highest ones I would rate, yeah. I read it twice because I did a quick reread on it a few days before we would see the movie. It is a quick read. Actually, I loaned it to our niece. Well, it pulls you through really quickly. And she read it in like three, four days. Yeah, it's very engaging. And she's like, I'm not a quick reader and I read it so fast. I'm yeah. like, you just don't want to put it down. It's really a pretty good yeah. book. And the second time, I was a little nervous that I wouldn't like as much as I did the first time because sometimes I... I'm like that when I reread books. No, but great. I loved it the second time. Great. I was like, this is so good. Yep. Why? Why didn't I reread this sooner? So now we're going to talk about spoilery things. We're going to talk about spoilery things in the book and spoilery things in the movie. So if you don't want to be spoiled, I encourage you to stop. Spoiler alert. Spoilers. Okay, let's start with talking about the characters. The characters in the book versus the characters in the movie. Well, we're going to talk about both, right? Yes. I'm just going to put that book down. I know. Go ahead. Okay, so the characters in the book. Here's some of the things I liked about the characters in the book. Our main character is going to be Wade. Mm -hmm. We have H, who is like mm -hmm. his best online friend. We have Artemis, and she is another one. She's kind of Wade's friend, but she's kind of not Wade's friend. She's kind of a competitor. She really, the entire book, keeps a super competitive edge around herself. Like, I want to find the egg. This is mine to win. I'm going to do this thing. Kind of like him. Kind of like him, but she's more competitive. Like... I think if it came down to the two of them and they're about to reach the last whatever, he would let her do it. She's also a bit of a celebrity. So she he's, is. he's crushed on her for a while yes. and lots of people follow her stream or whatever it is. Blog, in the future. Yeah, whatever yeah. it was. So she's pretty famous. Uh, there also are two more and these are all 
people in the oasis like he gunters has, gunters they're egg all gunters. gunters egg hunters and they haven't met in real life so we also have shoto and daito i will say in the movie they cut his name there was daito and Sho. Sho. and i was like is it really that hard to add a toe which we don't know <laughs> enough about japanese culture and names yeah. and stuff so maybe it actually maybe it's just a nickname for him and maybe it made more sense so those are our, the high five is what they call them in the book because all of them are at the top of the leaderboard they have want they've got the first key and they kind of stay there throughout for the second and the third key and mm -hmm. so on and so forth yep they don't stay there the whole time because the evil people who we didn't really talk about in the description who are the sixers led the sixers. by nolan sorrento the only main character actually there is Nolan Sorrento, the yes. only one that you actually kind of see some stuff yeah. from him. In the movie, they added a girl. Kind of a henchman or yeah. a sub a manager. So those are our main characters. And then, of course, Halliday, who is dead, but he kind of comes back and he speaks and sometimes like that in uh, the Oasis and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Also, another notable character in the book and notable for a different reason than in the movie would be Halliday's best friend, slightly strange, but still best friend. Ogden Morrow. Ogden Morrow. And he kind of plays a different part in the book. He actually comes in at the end and he takes the high five under his wing and he basically is the one that gives them a secure place because that's the other thing. The Gunters, Nolan, is straight up would kill them, all of them. And in the movie, they were kind of like, you, and he has a chance to kill him and he doesn't. And I'm like, no, he would kill him. But they probably wanted to keep it like rated G or PG or whatever it was. I don't think making him a real huge crap bag would have made it rated R, but what do I know about movie uh, ratings? Here's the thing, way darker in the book. Yeah, way, not in a bad way either. Way darker, way more serious. Because yeah. at first you're like, oh, it's this fun game and he finds this, oh, and he thinks it's on this planet and he figures this out, haha, <laughs> oh, these things. And it's kind of fun and cool. And then he gets a message from Nolan Sorrento and he meets him mm -hmm. in the Oasis, just like he normally does. He straight up blows up the whole like stacks. Yes. Like he kills everybody there, mm -hmm. doesn't care at all. He doesn't just, oh, there's a few drones that plant a few explosives on just that one stack, no. you know, to get him. He doesn't care. He blows up and kills everybody. And then as you kind of are like, oh man, he did that IOI, the bad guys led by Nolan Sorrento are also the ones responsible for, at the end, so we have H mm -hmm. and Diato and Sho or Shoto, whatever, and they're all there yeah, and they all meet. Yeah. They're all in Columbus. Well, first of all, all those characters are in different locations. They're all geographically around the world yes. in different places. So H is somewhere else and she didn't say where, she does eventually where she was. But, but she was in like a... Um... She was in a she's traveling like an RV. She was in a traveling yeah, like, truck, so and that's where she did her anyway. stuff. Yes. Artemis was in Canada, and the other two, I believe, were in Japan. Yeah, they were. They were, and that's the thing too. Is one of them doesn't come over when they when Ogden Morrow he actually kind of says, "Hey, I'm going to get you all and take you and kind of save save you, sort of." And then it kind of prepares them for the final thing, and mm -hmm. he gets to talk to him about his friend who passed away and James Halliday and their relationship. It's actually really good parts in the book that are that are missing from the movie, but I understand they didn't have time for that. However. One of the guys doesn't make it over because, what, two-thirds of the way through the book? They killed him. Uh, the bad guys killed they him. Kill in the book, there's keys and then gates, mm -hmm. and then they took that out in the movie. They just yeah. like, eh, it's too complicated. We're just going to go key, key, key. Which done. I kind of understand that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I fine. still enjoyed the process in the book. Like, I liked the process of getting the key. I liked the process of getting the gate. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was fun. It was a fun journey. It was a, it was a good way to do it, but I, li I was fine with them shortening it. But they killed him in a very violent way like they like in real life guys like in real life came in broke in kicked in his door dragged him kicking and screaming to a window and he's like in a japan like you know a, 100 200 stories. stories up or something crazy like he's way up high and threw him through a window and killed yeah. him like and then they had video footage of yes that, of that happening that wade got so he had proof that it happened so they did like we said they added a character in the movie they added the gal mm -hmm. who didn't really add much except maybe like it made them meaner because she was ruthless supposedly or it took some guilt off him or something or something i didn't think they needed i didn't it. think it was necessary i didn't think it, needed I didn't it. Think it was necessary i thought nolan sorrento is a big enough crap bag already he didn't need that but yeah. they didn't make him that crappy so uh, maybe they did need her because they didn't make him that crappy but i don't know why they didn't i really don't think that would bump up a rating it was, it was a good actor i thought they chose a good guy for it he was scummy enough i didn't that... mind him he's not what i envisioned but you know his, his, acting, the more. his acting was good it, it's just i feel he needed to be a little more cold and ruthless like totally cold like yeah i killed his, his aunt. aunt yeah 
who at least was sheltering him, and yeah, it was under duress, and his and boyfriend, the boyfriend, whatever. And that some, wasn't too far off. Yeah, some of that stuff happened, but he still loved his aunt and was and was traumatized by that. It was terrible. Yeah. <clears throat> Those characters, I'm fine with them being slightly altered. Nolan Sorrento not being quite as cold and horrifyingly just evil. I I didn't like it. it as, yeah, I didn't like it as much. Yeah. I, I wish he I wish he would have been. I Rock was a minor. Oh, yeah, he, he was, was super minor. Yeah, he was he was a wannabe Gunter in the book. Uh, I thought that was actually a fun addition. Um, but I Rock had like he was like I'm a ruthless bounty hunter, but he wasn't straight up evil. Whereas no. in the book, he was a pretty minor character who initially was like, hey, I know where they're going. Go here to this place and ruined like them being ahead on trying to get to one of the keys or something. And that was it. He, yeah. He was. He didn't have a like major... He was a jerk, but he wasn't. He was a jerk. He was terrible. He made fun of Wade. This wasn't brought up either in the book. Wade as a character is super poor. Yeah. And so he does have to do things to try and get money. I was fine with how they did it. They alluded in the race for the first key. They alluded to it in the, hey, he has to kind of stay towards the back and as guys get hit or whatever... He gets their coins and sucks them up and whatever because yeah. he needs the money for fuel in the race or whatever. That was fine, but you don't realize. Hey, Iraq once he bummed a ride with Iraq to a planet somewhere, and then he killed boars on like World of Warcraft planet, like little level one boars for hours and hours and hours just to build up a teeny tiny bit of money because he was so poor, right? Mm -hmm. And Iraq got the footage and posted it to make fun of him yeah. for all the other gunters. Like he's not a real gunter, and look at this loser because he wasn't rich. So they did a good job of condensing that, I thought. I didn't mind, and honestly, I didn't mind the race. Yeah, yeah. I, I, like, I know surprised. a lot of people really hated it. it, and I was like, it was okay. Like, it had enough pop culture references in it that I appreciated it. Mm -hmm. It was completely different than the book, and yes, I miss him. Like, I miss the, the game he played, Joust. I miss after that. After he gets through the, but it's after he gets through the, and then later the catacombs the and the labyrinth. After he goes through the catacombs, yeah. And all that stuff. And it totally reminds me of, like, old games from the late 80s. It does, but I don't think that would have played well no. on the screen. No, like, maybe not. you guys can say what you want, because I'm a nerd and I love RPGs, and I would like, oh yeah, get down through the, ah, the, the crypt of the lich, whatever guy, you know, uh, that, that he has to play at Joust in the end, like, what, of all things. Okay, that really wouldn't have played. It great. might not have played well, but the gate no. that he went through, the first gate, was um maybe war games. It was war games. It was war games. But he had to at first. It was a clue. The key gives you a clue. Yes, and to where the gate is, and then you need the key to go. And it was in uh, Halliday's childhood home on a planet that all it is is it's a bunch of replications, like two, three hundred, whatever, of his childhood home mm -hmm. in childhood town. Town, yeah. Town. It's okay. The town, the whole town in Ohio. Yes. And it's it basically it's a suburb of Ohio, and I really should know the name of it and don't. I don't remember it, but that's where he goes into this gate, and he basically has to talk his way through the whole movie of War Games. And I wish they would have left something like that in. I wish they would have. Uh, we know. Like even if it was like Back nope. to the Future, or, Back to the Future would have been perfect, or, or Princess Bride. That's well known too. Princess Bride would have been a little rough. Back to the Future, I feel like you could have inserted a lot, and people would have gone it bonkers. Been it would have been so much fun. Bonkers Everybody loves over that, that movie. And I wish they would have left that in. They did have the bit about the shining, which isn't exactly the same as the first gate was, but eh. which was funny. Yeah. It was funny. I'm glad they had it in there. But at the same time, like it was it wasn't the same thing. Like the whole point was to be able to sit in Matthew Broderick's character and say all his lines verbatim and you like, had stand to know up when things. he stands up and yes. leave when he leaves and do yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yes. And had to know it. Yeah. And he, he does it. And I'm like I, I enjoyed that. Even though I've only seen war games like maybe twice, I don't know it verbatim, just the concept of it got me super excited and I'm sad they took that out. Most people aren't familiar with that movie, but like we said, it would have been better if they would have picked, and they might just not been able to get the rights that, to a movie yeah. big enough and say, uh, we can't really do this justice. And so they did that. And The Shining, the different, uh, the, the rooms and all the different things that happen was really cool and it was enough that I was like, ah, that's fine. Maybe because there could have been all sorts of restrictions if you think about it. I was surprised they got a lot of different things in there that they did. Well, I've never seen The Shining, so I don't know what I I don't know what they got. I don't watch scare movies. I'm a wuss. All work no play makes Jack a dull boy. I do know that, actually. I've seen that that's book a, before. That's, that's there is literally, by the way, in the book, 
It's all almost on every single, not quite, but al almost <laughs> every single page there's a pop culture reference of some sort. That's not an exaggeration. At least one, and there's an average of more than one per page. Yeah. Easily. Easily. Okay? And Shocking it's so amounts. much fun. It's like, pa packed full. It's I didn't so get them all, if it makes you guys feel better. Like, I didn't understand everyone. Some of the music ones, I'm like, I I'm not into. I'm song. not into music, and well, so... Well, some of the music was straight up 70s, and I am not familiar with 70s music yeah. at all. Okay, so all, all the other characters, like Daito, Shoto, eh, there wasn't a lot about them. Artemis, pretty... Pretty close. The only main difference was she wasn't the leader of a rebellion. No. And he doesn't meet her in person until the very end of the book. It's literally the last chapter. Yeah. That like, he meets her in person. And and I feel like, though, in the book, she was like, I'm going to win this thing. You're distracting me. I'm going to win this thing. And in the movie, she was not At like the that. same time, and she was very she, she was very nice to him. She was they nice got, to they him. Got, they became friends, legitimately. And I actually liked the casting of her. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I liked her Oasis character. I also liked H. I liked the, the the gal they got for H. I thought that that is how I imagined her. And H is Oasis character as well. You didn't imagine her that way? No. Uh, no, because she is in in the Oasis. I don't think she's black. And then No, she's not. She's she's, she's, she's not a white black. Man. She's a white guy. Mm -hmm. And so she's felt prejudice on multiple levels because she is actually a black, overweight lesbian. Those things in the book, it was made obvious later, but it, it made a lot of sense, some of the stuff she mm -hmm. said. And she was very... And her reasons. Yes, her, her reasons, reasons, like her for family. Her reasons to be oh, yeah. a white man were good reasons. Her mom saying, you know, you're not going to get ahead and you, you're you going to be persecuted. These things are going to mm -hmm. happen. And then her feeling that persecution. So her changing those things uh, about herself to fit into the Oasis in a different way. I did like more in the book. And I felt like they didn't hit it as much in the movies. Right. I always imagine it, uh, the girl from Pitch Perfect. I think. Oh yeah, Cynthia Rose. Yeah, who who's? Uh, yes, yeah, right. Who's a, a lesbian, black overweight lesbian. Le le black overweight lesbian. <laughs> who can sing? Yeah, All but right. I missed it. I was like, oh, she's like a sassy black, you know, like ah. I, I, was, I was sad about that. Okay, yeah. so we can talk about things you didn't like in the book and in the movie. Can't think of much you didn't like in the book. I can't think of anything I didn't like in the book. I can. Okay, what do you not like? The the one there's a lot of little things you could nitpick at, but the one thing that I did not care for in the book that they got into was Wade feeling the need to pleasure himself or oh, to yeah, however you want to put that. It was sticky stuff that you can say. Oh, I guess it's you know a teenage boy, and if he's got a bunch of money, he's gonna get a sex robot or whatever. I I didn't care for that. I don't think they needed it. I kind of forgot about that honestly. That's it, though. That's it. That's the only thing from the book I really didn't care for as much. So, the movie. Um, things that we wish they would have done differently. I wish they would have put in the bit about... when. So, after the stacks get blown up, Wade goes and grabs his crap from the van. He blows up the van. And as far as they know, they killed him. Mm -hmm. Because they... I think they said that in the movie. They didn't see him leave because he leaves out the back window or whatever. Right. And uh, so they thought he was in there, so they thought they killed him. So he is smart enough to change his identity. So he changes himself to a generic name, a different person. He makes himself a little bit older as well. So he gets on a bus to, I think it's Columbus, Ohio, I yeah, think. Yeah, basically where Which is where their headquarters is. And he rents himself. Basically, it's like a redone hotel room. And mm -hmm. they have made them apartments. And they're specific, specifically for Gunters. So they're designed to have a big rig in the middle that you kind of like the one that Nolan Sorrento had in the movie where you can like lay back. An immersion it. rig is what that's called. Yes, it's an immersion rig. And he has like a fancy suit with it mm -hmm. and he buys it with like his money he made from letting the letting like people advertise with his name and stuff like that. So, and he rents the apartment, he pays for six months rent. He does smart things like he gets a extra hearty door that they can't break into very easily. He gets, and this is a cool thing that I wish they would have left in. He gets like a robot, like an apartment robot, like a voice that talks to him and stuff like that in the apartment. That is Max Hedrum. Oh, he changes it sometimes. He did change sometimes, but it was Max Hedrum all the time. And I was yeah. like, ah, I love that. That's so fun. It's so, it's so back to the future too. Anyway, um, I wish they would have let that part in. So while he's there, at first he like is in the rig all the time, looking for the egg, looking for the key, looking, 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 getting fat, letting himself go. And then he realizes, what am I doing? So then he makes himself exercise and he makes himself eat better. And time out. <laughs> it's all because of something that goes on more in the book that doesn't as much. Yes. His thing with Artemis kind of. She basically draws breaks him up into with him. Like spin. online breaks up. And with that's him. his. His going up and down in his physical actual appearance, yes. which they don't spend a lot they of time don't. in the movie 
in the real world. And there's a decent amount in the book in the real world that's good, by yeah. the way. So basically there's this part in the book, I don't know, it's probably like five chapters or so. It's a pretty good chunk. And I love it. I love to see the character transformation is what I like to see. I like to see him go from no purpose to finding a purpose and putting himself, and then he, he like gets himself physically fit. And then he arranges it for them to abduct him and take him to the headquarters of IOS well, wait. as an indentured servant. Well, one, it's IOI. IOI. But two, that, that crosses over with the big difference in the movie, they made Artemis just get caught. And then they used her as an inside person. Like she got out, you know, and they, they hacked the thing and they got her out of her rig where yeah. she was like a little slave, right? So that was fine. I was like, all right, it makes sense. It was that, okay. That she could, I just like the way the book did it better. Yeah, I wish she would have looked in there and I feel like they could have done that five chapters yes. worth in a montage. A montage. Like pick a great 80s song, make it take a minute. I'm going to get fit. Gonna get do fit. this. Gonna do I'm this doing thing. missions with Daito and Shoto the, yes. and H like they yes. were doing. Things and like that. All sorts and of he could have totally and then the thing I did I like about the book is the way he got himself captured. On indentured. purpose. On purpose. But you didn't know it was on purpose until later when he basically gets himself captured plays puppet for a day mm -hmm. and then kind of figures out what he's supposed to be doing. Then he hacks their system of course and that's how we got the video of Daito getting killed. That's all that stuff. All that stuff. That's how we got it all. Hi sweetie. Tempe. She wants, in the she video. wants to be in the video, my yeah, pretty video. girl. My white dog. Good girl. See, she does relax a little bit better, doesn't she? Yeah, she's fine. Hello, brown dog. Do you want Temperance to prefers the book. Cindy <laughs> prefers her butt. The panic is real. The panic is real. <laughs> what is your sister doing oh. down there? <gasps> there. Oh, look ah. at that. Christmas card. <laughs> We don't do Christmas cards. We don't. We're lazy. Yeah. Way too lazy for that. Okay. Well, wow, I love how they just are like, we're here. We don't know. Whatever. Yeah, they, they get like, when you pick them up, they're like, panic! But I can hold my dog longer than you can hold your dog. Probably. <laughs> hey, weasel. Though mine does weigh like 10 pounds less. Yeah. She does. So that whole part, though, in the book of him getting captured because he was behind on things or whatever, all that stuff was way better of course i say though that's one of those things that's always just going to be way better in the book so they abbreviated it by saying oh artemis got captured i just wished it would have been wade that got captured mm -hmm. because the cool part in the book is you didn't know you knew he had some sort of plan and was doing something but then but he got captured and you're like oh no and so in the movie they could have they missed a huge opportunity because they could have not even said hey guys i've got a plan and trust me i'm gonna be off the grid for a while or whatever he could have just you could have just seen him Busting Spirit. down his door. Yeah. They break down his door and they come in and they get him. All that yeah. all that would have been really cool. It would have been cool. It's a great plot twist. It's a great plot twist. Because then you'd you be win. like, she's heavy. <gasps> Go get your sister. It would have been great to do that because you as the audience wouldn't have known and would have been along for the ride yeah. when it turned to where, oh, wait, he actually had a plan the whole time. This was great. So yeah. yeah. Would have been good. So I didn't mind that they made show like a 13 year old kid. I actually thought that was cute. Like One, one of them was a kid. He, he yeah, was a younger kid. Yeah. Younger. I guess. I don't know how much younger, and I thought I thought that was fine. Yeah, I thought that was fine. That was okay. So, this is a really small thing. Will Wheaton reads the audiobook, and then he actually has a place in the book. They mention him. He's like the commander of something. Uh, good. I wish they would have put Will Wheaton somewhere in the movie. He would have been so good, right? I kind of thought he'd be uh, great. Ogden. Ogden um, Morrow. Ogden Morrow. Yeah, I thought he'd be great at that. I was like, I kind of uh, He'd be all right. I really like Simon Pegg as that, though. He did a good job. They should have had him so as a bigger... I don't think I've ever seen him with American accent. He did well. Yeah, they should have had him in a bigger role, I feel. But again, yeah. the movie, like, you had to shorten it. I get it. I did like in the movie where you could walk in and, like, re, re see scenes of his life relived. Okay, she's she's talking about what in the book, it's Anorax Almanac. Yes. That was a bunch of, like, uh, journal entries like and all the music he liked and uh, tons of stuff. Well, and play and, like, or all play. the stuff. It had, you could play. It had references to all of his stuff, right? Yeah. Everything that he ever had anything to do with. Whereas this, the movie representation was instead, hey, we have a video, like, in all aspects of whatever you need to look at it and of this thing happening, like yeah. a video diary. And yes. so that was... But it was fun that you could like watch them reenact. I it was clever instead of him scrolling through menus and finding stuff yeah. and looking through them saying, oh, I know because I've played every game and seen every movie. It was clever. You have. 
And then I didn't, I also didn't like Kira, right? That was her name. Ogden's wife, who Halliday did kind of like, they blew that all way out of proportion in the movie. And I didn't really like that that much. Uh, I think in the book, it wasn't blown out of proportion as much as uh, Halliday was a nerd who was socially awkward, like a lot of us nerds are. Ogden Morrow was the one brave enough and he's like, yep, he pursued that mm -hmm. and he got, he got to marry her and all those things. And then they kind of drifted apart and they did in the book, yeah. but in the movie, it, to me, it and to Stephanie, it seemed more like that it was oh, because it's this love triangle and yeah. you got and felt like it, they forced that and it really wasn't that way. And then the end, they were like, oh, it's all about being best friends the whole time, and I'm like, and that was a part of it in the book, really. a minor part, like a very minor. That part. he said, hey, it is important in friends and these things, and you need to go after you know what's important to you and grab onto it type of thing, I guess with yeah. Wade. And so in the end, Wade goes and he does meet Artemis and, mm -hmm. you know, kiss her and they're gonna, whatever, remake the Oasis because they're in control of it. Yay. Yeah. I feel like the quarter that in the book, the difference is he won the quarter because he tracked down a thing and he thought, oh, okay, this is it. And he got the highest possible score on, it's either Donkey Pac Kong, pa I think it's Pac-Man. And that was in the middle of what would have been a montage yes. of him doing a bunch of missions and side quests and getting these cool items and all these cool things that you see some of later. Yeah. It was in the middle of that. And then he won this quarter that he was like, oh, there's no big deal. And then he puts it into his inventory. Here's the thing. That guy, the the butler or whatever, it's Ogden Morrow. But yeah. it, it, the butler character at the time flips him. And then he's like, I don't know what the quarter. And he's like, no, it's yours, right? because you want to bet with them. I was okay with that because, again, watching a guy play out a video game, whatever, it's boring. But I think they should have made a much bigger deal of it at the end, just destroying everybody and everybody blinks out of existence and is gone. Mm -hmm. And then him too and all his stuff. Then and, then, and then this quarter pops up in his inventory and starts flashing yes. or something. You're like, that quarter that he got from the thing and he hits it and he looks at it and you know it says extra life or one up or whatever. That would have, they did it sort of like that, but they could have done it way better. And I will say sometimes in a book, like there'll be a little thing like they'll say, la, 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 well, I'm allergic to onions. And then you note that because you're like, why would you tell me you're allergic to onions? <laughs> why? Unless you're going to eat onions later. But the, the journey to get that coin was so like... I don't know. Like, it seems so natural. You have this coin. There's Doesn't all these other anything. things he did. And, and they said that. The coin didn't stuff. do anything. He couldn't do anything with it. He just put it in his inventory or whatever. And you, know? you really just didn't think two bits about it. You didn't think it would save his life. You didn't think it was going to save his life. You had no idea And I like that, that it was subtle enough mm -hmm. because they didn't say seven times. Like, here's your quarter. It's a magic quarter. We don't know what it does, but it does something magic. Here's your great quarter. Have another It'll quarter. It'll save you in a time of great need yes. when maybe no life is left for you to do the deep or something dumb like that. <laughs> and they didn't do that in no. the book. They were just like, oh yeah, here's yeah. your quarter. And he's like, okay, yeah. I put it in my pocket, whatever. So I would say for me, the book is a five stars. And I would say the movie is around like a 2.3. Like I don't think it's necessarily one that I'm gonna like wanna own, maybe a 2.5. Uh, I might own it if I find it on Black Friday for like $2, but I don't know if it's a movie I'm going to watch over and over. It just didn't have enough of the 80s nostalgia for me to want to watch it over and over. And I would say, the, like I already rated the book, that it was it would be one of my higher ratings. The movie I would rate higher than she would because it is entertaining to, yeah. to see a big like T-Rex and to, to see a giant King Kong, you know, just in the race and the DeLorean flying around and all those things throughout. And then video games that I play like Overwatch and you briefly see character like half second on screen but saw it like Tracer and and then her. you know the orbital drop shock troopers uh, like Marines from Halo you know things like that you're like, oh hey oh and this <gasps> Battletoads I think Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and, like that you see just all throughout you like spotting things but it's only in specific scenes and only here and there. So yeah. those scenes are fine, but I'll probably look them up on YouTube later or watch articles and go, oh yeah, this one, oh yeah, that one. So what was your rating? Uh, probably, a, I'm still pretty critical, so I'd probably say a three, maybe a 3.2. I'm glad you liked it more than me. It's rare. It is. That is everything I think we have to talk about today. Please feel free to leave some comments down below of what you thought of the book or you thought of the movie. Hopefully we didn't spoil things for you because you were warned. We said spoiler alert. Spoilers. We made a big deal. Mm -hmm. But please leave a comment. I'm excited to hear what other people think about this because it's a book that I loved and it's a movie that was okay. 
Don't forget to like. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm releasing this in April where I'm doing a video every day, so I will just plan on seeing you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. I need lotion. Time out. <laughs> lotion break. I don't like it when my hands are dry. I just took a shower. Stop. Lotion time. When you shower, it dries out your whole body. It's just the opposite of what you think it should do. See, look, she's already doing it. <laughs> Panic mode is real! Ready? Really? She always looks so panicked. Well, that's how the Sunny do. Sunny, what did you think of the book, Ready Player One? We I, I preferred the movie. Of course you did, you're a sadist. Get out! We didn't take you to the movie. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> how does she get movies before we do? <laughs>